Now suppose I wanted to get a lot of stone stairs and wooden stairs. I can do this in the crafting table and get myself a good 40 stairs, and I can do the same thing with wood here. But what if I told you there was a better way? See, in a stone cutter, if I drop my stack of stone here and click the stone stairs, I'll get 64 stone stairs, as opposed to the 40 I got last time. Okay, that's all well and good. What if I put in oak planks? Well, I can't get anything. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I'm proposing that the stone cutter is a great way to save resources when it comes to making stone-based things. You can get a one-for-one -one trade on almost all of your stone products and be able to make all types of things. You just get free blocks. In fact, you get extra slabs too. But what if there's a woodcutter? What if there's a woodcutter so you could do the same thing you did with stone? So convenient, so wonderful, amazing, stone, but wood. Look at all the different things that you can make using a stone cutter. All the different types of stone blocks. The sand varieties, the black stone varieties, the stones, the diorite trio, all the deep slate. Almost every type of block that's made of stone can be cut in the stone cutter. You can double your output for slabs. You can get one-for-one -one trades on walls and bricks. It's wonderful. Look at all those options. Now here's what I proposed for wood. All the different wood types. We have about 9, 10, no, that looks like 11. 11 different wood types. All 11 of these types about being able to be trimmed using a woodcutter would be so efficient, so wonderful. And if you look at them side by side, the amount of wood that you could get out of a woodcutter is about the same as stone, so it's not going to replace it or anything like that. After all, the different types of materials over here tend to be blast resistant or at least fire resistant. So these are still weak to flame, these are still weak to explosions, and it's not going to outclass the stone. The, these are still relatively weak building materials, but the variety of colors and the fact that you'll have to chop less trees, spend less time crafting the logs into planks, and all of that, it'll just make it more convenient to build with. I'd say everything under this green line is stuff that definitely should be converted using a hypothetical woodcutter. Everything under this yellow line would be nice, but I understand that some people may not like that change. Mo Yang may not like that change. They still may want you to use sticks to craft these things because it's not exactly the same as walls, even though they function like walls. And then the last aspect under here, under the red line, are the redstone series of things, your classic fence gates, trap doors, and doors. Maybe because it's redstone, it's more valuable and you still have to spend the extra wood to craft it. I'm glad that these don't require the use of redstone. I'm grateful for that. So if that's the trade-off, that we spend extra wood to make up for the fact that we don't have to integrate redstone into building these blocks, then I'm fine with that. The dream would be to get all of this, but I understand if that's not the case. But this is just a quick video, me making a small pitch for why a woodcutter would be nice to have. Not necessary, not game-changing, not mandatory. The game isn't broken with or without it, but it's a nice option to have. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person to mention that we should have a woodcutter. It seems like a very easy idea. Plenty of other people have probably said this. But what do you think? Should it only function for planks, stairs, and things similar to stone? Or should it include trap doors, fences, and fence gates? Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.